Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I'm going to talk to you about this. The best life hack you can ever get on this channel. Hopefully, anyway. So, yeah. About this. You know when people talk about death? As in, like, oh, hey, you know you're going to die. Hey, you know you're going to, like, die. Hey, you know, in the movies, is it movie, movies, TV shows, right? They all talk about death in it. Literally, just about like a oh, person died in the movie. There, so it's like that's just a, a reminder, um, a reminder that you're gonna pass away, you know. And then it's just kind of like, yeah, I know. <sighs> I should look. We're all gonna die anyway. It's like. Now there's my thing, right? There's my point. We're all gonna die at some stage, okay? You all guys know, right? People are living a lot longer. People are working now until they're 73, 75. Now is our uh, marker, right? People that are that are in their twenties, right? This is our marker now. In basically, in 50 years, we'll be retired. Or some people might actually just uh, feck it. I might as well just keep going. Because if, if we're tired of 75 or 73 there. You might as well just keep going. You know to be honest. Ah uh, yeah sure why not. You know. Anyway. Back to the little death thing right. People always say. Right. That's like oh we're going to die. Okay we get that part. But. There's always a thing. If you're still healthy. Right. Healthy as a fiddle. You're not, like, you're not coming down with cancer. You're not coming down with any diseases in your body whatsoever at 70 years old, 80 years old, 90 years old, right? But if you have, like, you could be, like, living up healthy life, life body, if you want to call it, your life body, all the way up until you're 95, do you know what I mean? And then after that, then it's like, oh shit. What? I can barely move. I can barely walk up the stairs. Now, actually, I can't wait. I can't even go up the stairs to go toilet anymore. I can't do nothing. I can't do squat. I feel ill. I feel sick. And everything there. Thank God I live to be this long. And then you could have a disease that would last year to say, yeah, you're going to he you you're only going to live for another seven years. The doctor says, there. But how do they know that? Because technology by then, right? By then, will be well improved, well improved, super improved. So even if you're even sick, or something like that, they'll almost have. I think when you're actually going to, like, literally scare you, as in, like, yeah, you have nothing in your body whatsoever. How do you know? Oh, we just did a body scan on you very quickly. Just a quick little x-ray there. Nothing bad in you whatsoever. No COVID-19 in you anyway, huh? Remember those days in 2020? <laughs> you know? It's like, well, that's true. That's amazing. I was like, yeah, do you remember technology in the year 2000? Oh, I remember that. In year 2000. There. They are all going like about all oh, this, that, the other. Like they couldn't even figure out the problem. There, to be honest. Could they? No, they couldn't. But nowadays, there. In the future. Su like the super, super future. They're going to have uh, scanners there. Scanning your, your entire body. No sickness whatsoever, nothing in the head, clear headed, everything is fine, you're ready to rock and roll. That'd be 50 euro to 100 quid. There, please, thanks, goodbye. Next patient, in. Same again, yep, same person. Do it again there, yep, 100 quid, please, thank you. Just a quick body check up there, like that, and then out the door they go, like that, and then they're making 100 quid out of you. Very easy and quick, but if you think of that though, you're paying for their technology, really. You know? 
Like it's basically like a free visit, but you just pay for that technology. A quick good old scan of you there, and you're like, okay, yeah. So you uh, so you're what eighty something now, and you're coming down with you feel like you're coming down with something. It's like yeah, we'll put you on a body scanner. So body scanner scans you there and says, or even a doctor just looks at you, you know, and then says, yeah, you have bloody bloody blah. blah, blah and yeah you you're going to need surgery you're only going to do this there and to be honest though the doctor says that you're actually going to be living you're looking at almost like 95 105 maybe 110 there to live i was like really yeah jesus i was just like by then it's like wow big second approved do you know what I mean like people nowadays could be living up to be 105 110 do you know what I mean how do you know like this is when you're like super ill when you're like you like you literally can't do nothing with your body and it's like oh my god I was super young in my 20s there running around like an elephant there and I thought I was actually like, oh, getting old now, oh yeah, getting old now, turning 30, oh yeah, yeah, turning 40, oh yeah, yeah, 50, oh yeah, 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 then another 50 years, there, now I'm 100, oh yeah, 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 oh, what, yeah, it's time to go, oh no, yep, time to go, almost 110, yep, it won't surprise you anyway, if they say, oh yeah, 110 now is the, is the max of, uh, coffin basically for you one not surprise you to be honest would it no nope. wouldn't surprise me either so yeah that's really it really so like people don't actually know when they're actually going to die like you will die but we don't know when now do you get me yeah so like you could be fine as a whistle there until you have some disease in, inside of you there in the old when you're older right and then if that kills you then that's what kills you there so if you didn't even have that little killer inside you there you'd be still be li living up to be just say right oh i got the disease at 90 you have um, another 110 years i mean again sorry no, another 12 years uh, to live It'd be like, oh my god, so a decade and a bit to live. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's all right. That's how she are, right? And then, bam. You're gone then. Less than 12 years. 11 years you died. You know? So, you know what I mean? So, yeah. That's basically it of the death there of my YouTube channel for now. And then that is it. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. And hopefully I'll have a girlfriend at this stage when this video comes out in year 24 do you think so oh boy i hope so i need a girlfriend jeez i never known it's so hard to get a second girlfriend around here to be honest bye